Hey guys, Danny Johnson here, and so I was on Facebook and I saw that a kid was trying to put 05 plus wheels on his New Edge Mustang, and these are Roush wheels, so they're a little wider than factory, and uh, he was saying, hey, what's going on? It's rubbing on the suspension, uh, you know, the, the shock itself was getting eaten into, and so... Everybody was on there telling him, oh, I, I don't know why. I've put that size of an extra wide rim on my car before without any problems. And so I explained to him that it was all about the offset is different for that year. And so therefore you need wheel spacers. And so I uh, put a video together here to kind of explain that for you. Okay, so if you look at a factory car with a factory offset, you'll notice that the wheel actually is in quite a bit. And they do that for a few reasons. Some of it is for you know better aerodynamics, but also with the wheel more in, if you flip up mud and everything like that, it's gonna go into the wheel well, and it's not just gonna go down the whole side of your car, especially on the front. And also, one of the big things is, as this wheel compresses, you know, if you're going over a bump and the car goes down, as the suspension goes down, you want that wheel to go inside the wheel well not be out here where it hits the fender. So uh, that can be a problem when people add spacers and things like that because next thing you know, they're digging up their whole fenders. Now I'm pretty sure the offset's uh, a lot different because on the Cobra, these are 17 by nines and on the Mach 1, they're 17 by eights. But uh, I did put my Mach 1 wheels on this once and they seem to be way far in. So it's almost as if they did compensate a little bit with the, the 17 by nine to make it fit properly. So when you put a 17 by eight on the Cobra, at least towards the back, it seemed like it was way far in. So here's a really good diagram showing you if you're looking head on at the wheel. And so on the left, you have the positive offset. So you can see where the wheel mounts to the hub of the car is all the way towards the street. Okay, so towards the outside of the wheel. Uh, in the middle, it's showing you the zero offset, so that would be right down the middle. And then on the right, we see a, the negative offset, so that would be moving where it mounts to the hub in towards uh, the car on the inner side. Okay, so when you look at a wheel, the offset is how far in the mounting surface is that goes onto the hub of the car. Okay, so if you were to look through the wheel, zero offset would be center line right down the middle okay and then if you're looking at the wheel like this then um, positive offset is going to be coming towards this way so this hub would be farther and farther this way and then negative offset would be coming back out this way okay so that means this hub would be closer pushed out this way and so for an example this is kind of how the car sits right now. Let's look at this back wheel here. So it already sits a little bit in, but if you were to have that offset changed, then the more of a, uh, the more negative offset you would have in this case would bring that wheel out, right? And then more positive offset would bring that wheel in. And so um, what you'll notice is like for the Ford Mustang, 2004 was the last body style like this, and then they went to the new body style in 2005, which was this guy. When they went to the new body style, they had changed the offset of the wheel. So if you're looking at the wheel, it looked the same. It was a 17 by eight, so the dimension was the same size wheel and same you know width and everything, but they had changed the offset to be more positive. Okay, so that means that they basically moved this hub mounting farther in. So if you went to mount a wheel from an 05 to 09 on a new edge like this, the wheel's gonna end up way far tucked in like that. It's gonna look funny. And uh, a problem that you can have is if you get like the Roush wheels, which were a wider wheel, now it's so far in, you're gonna be rubbing on your suspension components and uh, start rubbing on the struts and the shocks, everything like that. So um, what you need to do is get wheel spacers that will space the wheel back. Okay, so what size do you need? 
you're gonna need it, probably uh, the difference between the the new edge and the 05 plus was like 15 millimeter which is like 0.59 inches so you would at least need 0.5 inches to bring it to where the car should be and then if you had a wider wheel than that anyway you might want to consider you know a little more and so a lot of the spacers that you see on the market are like uh, one inch spacers that's kind of a, a common one so anyway that's the difference in offset is how far in that wheel is going to mount to the hub and uh, so just something to keep in mind um, when you're when you're looking for wheels and my GT was like this when I bought it it had 05 to 09 bullet wheels and they looked kind of funny but instead of buying spacers I just got the correct arrow wheel because I liked a few things about them better and so if you haven't ever seen a set before this is what the wheel spacers look like they basically bolt on where your current hub is you know so instead of putting your lug nuts onto your wheel you put them onto the spacers and the spacers have new lug nuts for the new wheel and so it's good to do that you can change your offset you can also change the bolt pattern which is how far spaced the uh, lugs are so if you're looking for a different set of wheels or you got some for a good deal and they don't all line up wheel spacers uh, might be able to help you out with that so here's a picture of 05 to 09 Mustang wheels on a 99 to 04 so you can see how far they suck in because of that positive offset so you would need wheel spacers to bring them out so that they look somewhat normal and uh, here's what it looks like with a regular wheel you can see it lines up uh, pretty normal looking. So hopefully you enjoyed this video if you found it useful please give it a thumbs up and uh, if you're new to the channel please subscribe we have new content coming out and uh, we're up to about 900 videos right now and counting, so thanks for watching.